The function keys of the device can be used as shortcut of important common functions. The mute button can mute the alarm audio when an alarm triggers. The NIPB button starts or terminates NIPB measurement manually. The trend button is used to populate the trend table, which provides numeric monitoring data. The freeze button is used to freeze the monitoring screen. Press it again to restore real-time display. The record key is used to trigger a real-time recording from the optional thermal recorder. The menu button is used to access different system setup categories. It can also be used to return to the main interface. The control knob can be used for device navigation and selection. If the device is equipped with optional touchscreen, both touchscreen and control knob can be used for the same purpose. Press and hold menu button via touchscreen to lock the touchscreen. To unlock, press menu button again. To admit a new patient, press menu button and select patient setup, followed by new patient. Previous patient data can be saved with certain settings. Now the patient ID can be input, and the patient type can be set up, so that's other patient information. After admission, the refreshed patient information will be displayed in the patient information field which is still available to review and modify. To review monitoring data, press menu button and select Review. Then multiple review options will be provided. Select Alarm Review for Physiological Alarm Review. In addition, the device also provides another method to review alarms quicker, which is to directly click the alarm field at the main interface for both technical alarms and physiological alarms. To change the display of interface, press menu button and select Display Setup. The device provides multiple display structures from view selection, such as standard, trend screen, oxy CRG, large font, and vital. Select any of them to change. To introduce more waveforms and display simultaneously, change the waveform number according to desire. However, the control bar may be hidden to maintain the waveform resolution. To activate or deactivate parameters, press menu button and select System Setup, followed by Module Switch. Check the box to activate available parameter or deactivate the parameter by unchecking the box. The interface will refresh when returned. If recorder is equipped, to change the recorder performance, navigate to Recorder Setup under System Setup. Select a parameter for waveform 1, 2, and 3 to print out such waveform. Through Recorder Interval, an automated recorder interval can be set. To change alarm performance, press menu button and select Alarm Setup. Alarm volume can be modified according to preference. Select Alarm options to change the alarm performance for all available parameters, such as High Alarm Limit, Low Alarm Limit, Switch, Record, and Level. The alarm setup for a particular parameter can also be accessed from main interface through parameter setting. The rest of the operation is the same. The device provides two special working modes, standby mode and night mode 
that can be used during downtime. They can be found in the common function on the menu. The standby mode will lead the device to exit current monitoring and data storage, while keep the device power on and showing the current time. Press any button to exit standby mode. In order not to disturb patients at night while still monitoring the patients, introducing the night mode, which will turn the alarm volume, screen brightness down to the minimum, with either audio muted or disabled. To exit night mode, navigate to the same menu and select Exit Night Mode. The shortcut bar at the bottom of the device provides a series of shortcuts for different common functions, such as Patient Admission, Module Select in the next page, Standby Mode, as well as other functions that is originally from system setup. <laughs>